This one-acre farm in Kenya is a little slice of paradise for farmers John Obam and wife Mary. It's filled with all kinds of food, like cowpeas and pawpaws. But it wasn't always this way. Near Lake Victoria, the farm lays in a hot, dry region suffering from a changing climate. <laughs> These smart farming techniques have transformed his farm and his income. They build resilience, protect the environment and reduce greenhouse gases that cause global climate change. Instead of just growing sorghum once a year, John grows a variety of crops year-round. If one fails, he always has the others. A grove of mostly cashew trees brings extra income and sucks carbon from the atmosphere. Thickets of trees have replaced barbed wire fences, and the animals' pens are raised, making it easier to use manure as organic fertilizer. In this region, water is life. It only rains twice a year, and because of climate change, the rainy seasons are starting later and ending sooner. Samantire oro ange piauka. On weekends and holidays, the children help with the farm. But now, John and Mary earn enough money for school fees for all eight of their children, plus an orphan they care for. Word is spreading to farmers throughout Kenya about climate smart farming. John visits a neighbor struggling because the rains are late. On this traditionally run farm, cow manure is wasted as a potential fertilizer. Fences of cut wood and barbed wire don't retain soil nor provide fodder. There is little shade. And without water catchment, the tomato crop is withering. There are no other crops, no diversification. <laughs> In the face of increasing dry spells, Kenya is promoting climate smart practices to protect and boost its wealth, the wealth of its farms, its people, and its wildlife. These iconic African animals roam the Samburu National Park. It lies in the heart of the homelands of the Samburu people. This area gets even less rain, and livestock herding has allowed the Samburu to survive in a water-starved region for generations. But the population has grown, and because of climate change, the rainy season is shorter and brings less rain. The natural grasslands that support both the Samburu's herds and wild animals have become sparse and degraded. So the Northern Rangelands Trust is adopting climate-smart techniques to herding that make farmers more resilient to climate change, protect the environment, and reduce encroachment in the neighboring national park. Just like with farming, climate-smart practices improve the livelihoods of herder families, like that of Thomas Leletur. He has combined his 40 cattle with a livestock of 11 other families so that the animals graze more efficiently as a concentrated group. This plot of land was set aside as a no-gray zone for months so that the grass matures, is bountiful, which also retains more carbon in the soil. The animal's hooves naturally till the hard-packed soil making a fertile bed for seeds of a hardy and fast-growing grass that will sprout in the rainy season. But enforcing the rules isn't always easy. The NRT buys the cows directly from the herders, so herders don't have to march them to distant markets. That means the cows stay healthier and can be sold at a younger age. Over their shorter lifespans, they consume less grass and produce less greenhouse gas emissions.
Diversification is also important here. Instead of families depending solely on their cattle for wealth, Samburu women are becoming more resilient by turning traditional beadwork into another source of income. One of Thomas's three wives is Neitemu Leletter. She's now selling her beaded jewelry and household <laughs> items to markets in Nairobi and beyond. <laughs> As Kenya moves toward more climate smart practices, it has embraced some innovative ways to motivate farmers. Bernard Oliak receives a small payment from the World Bank Biocarbon Fund for the trees he grows and farming in a climate smart way. So carbon stays in the soil and trees rather than in the air. But the incentive goes beyond the cash reward. As part of the program, Bernard receives training on sustainable practices that have made his farm more productive and less costly. training Nitie lokruok e weche mag korka jamni to koro miyo dhera bedo kod chiemo kata diere oro koro mano miyo an gi chak now trees shade his cows cool cows produce more milk he sells seedlings to other farmers for a profit and in about 5 years he'll be able to sell the lumber for a windfall of about $300 Recently, his farmers group received its first carbon payment. They decided to use it to diversify their production and make them even more resilient. Wachano mar mede pesa moro mondo wanyiew go some equipments manyalo konyo kaka In Kenya, more than 20,000 smallholder farms are now part of the program, increasing crop yields up to 20%. Climate smart practices are expanding and multiplying. Herders and farmers alike are finding that one good turn leads to another. They are breaking out of vicious cycles and creating virtuous cycles. They make money, save money and save time. Mondo mi odi urwa ngachia. I never would have been able to do it.